What's up guys, Chris here, back again with another video for you guys today. In this video, I want to talk about Thursday flipping investments. And before we get into this video today, I just want to show you guys the new loading screen that confirms that Headliners is going to be this Friday. I was a little scared about them pushing this loading screen out right after awards, maybe to kind of hinder the rise on the, on the market potentially for Thursday. The fact that they've gone and done this loading screen right now gives me a lot of confidence uh, that the market is going to do well on Thursday. I think you should see a st uh, standard normal market rise. And we also got a base and middle icon SBC today that should, I mean, it did definitely drop some of the cards in the market, giving you another buy time uh, because of it. it right here, base or middle. It's coming in like 450k, I believe. Uh, and we also got today a uh, Ben Arfa SBC, which is valued at like over 200k. So before we get to the video today, if you guys can, drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. That would be absolutely awesome. All the links to my social medias will be in the description. If you guys want to know when I go live on Twitch and upload to YouTube, make sure you guys go follow the Instagram, my Twitter, my free training Discord. All of that kind of stuff is in there for you guys in the description. So let's get into it. Now, gold metas for me are really starting to die off and just not really be good Thursday flips. And we got to that point last year as well where they just really did not rise that much. Um, at least, you know, some players obviously still rise every single week, but the majority of them aren't really rising that much either due to overinvestment or people already having cards like that in their club. Guys like Pugba, right? Just maybe so many people have the card in their club, they don't have to go out and buy. So, you know, what I've done uh, today, I bought a couple in from Carrasco's. The reason why I bought Carrasco was because this guy, his second in form has come out today. And the trend has pretty much been, I don't even know why I just listed that at 37, by the way. Um, the trend has been that the first in form of a card goes up uh, when the second in form is either super expensive or extinct. We've seen this happen with Lozano. We've seen this happen with Holland. I would expect if you guys can find this guy in the low 30s, this is a really safe investment because what happens like when they do get their second inform, it's kind of like that same maximum when he got a freeze card. It kind of gives people the urge to want to just use the card in general. It's the name that people go for. And if the first option is too expensive or it's out of their price cap, they will go and buy the second inform instead because it just makes more sense for them. Uh, and he still gets links to really good players like Lorente, either the rule breaker or the team of the week and Jao Felix's player of the month uh, or his inform as well. So I like Carrasco. If you guys can find him in the low thirties, I bought most sellers at two thirty. I like this a lot. Again, this, this was one of those cards last week. Let me just show you guys that actually went up in a market that didn't really do that great last Thursday because of the code that was released. So we went from two fifty all the way to like two sixty three by Friday. I like that rise. So, I mean, I saw a price undercut on this uh, Mo Salah. So, I bought all of mine at like 231 and under. I have another one here on my transfer um, targets at 231 on bid. I'm probably going to try to go get maybe a couple more because this guy today on PS4 was uh, 245. So, that's down like 15K of the prices that I'm getting him at. Uh, and that I really do like. Now, he's also getting bought at like 239 as well. He's even getting bought at 240 right now. Um, so I really like this. Um, I mean, just to see him go to like 250 by uh, tomorrow, I think is definitely possible. So most of if you guys can find it like 230 is really good. I'd say on Xbox, you want to look at like 197-ish. Uh, another card, you know, I'll show you my transfer targets in general right now, but, or, or transfer list. Um, you know, I picked up a Verone here at 315. Uh, I picked up the pie at 84 and a half. Uh, I picked up a couple of Verratis and a Hazard. And the reason why I'm buying certain cards like this, guys, and you guys can copy me if you want to, uh, is because those are cards that people like to use. Um, so, like, for example, I'm using this Verratti card. Uh, again, why do I like Verratti for a flip this week? Well, it's because he gets those... Uh, he gets those league on links, right? I think a lot of people are using league on teams. He's currently 120. I bought mine at 115 for both. If you guys can find us at like 115, all you need to do to make profit on this guy is hit him at like 125. And I think you can get that. Uh, so I think this is a decent Thursday flip. Um, I think you would want to be looking at this Depay as well. Uh, because he is also a strong link to that Denayer. 
which I know a lot of people are going to pack because it's only an 84 overall. Uh, and you can just convert this guy to a CDM and just get him that link. I bought him at 84. He's currently 88.5. Tried to find him under 85k. I think this could definitely go to like, you know, 94, 95, which I don't think it's that out of the ordinary to see that happen. Another thing you guys can see. Uh, and just like icons in general, I think some of the lower tier icons, man, like we were talking about Verone, right? Because I picked one up. These are the sort of icons that I can expect to go up this week uh, because I think this price point, a lot of people are going to be looking at. And I bought him at 315, which looks like it's a really good deal because I, he was actually 320 as well. I just picked the one up at 315. He's now 335. And some of these icons were actually low today because of this base and middle icon pack, which I expect a rebound on. So if you look at this guy, he was 345 at a peak today, 337, right? And I bought mine at 315. So right now, technically, you could probably get a snipe at 310 because the lowest price is 315. Um, another card that I was looking at before was uh, Michael Owen. Why is Michael Owen could do well? Again, he's one of those icons that I think a lot of people... Uh, still want to use now he's up again he was as low as 320 earlier he's now back up to like 350 you're gonna try to find this guy in the 320s um overmars and nedved were two other icons that i was looking at uh overmars is back up to 342 try to find this at 330 and under if you can he was 355 earlier today and try to find nedved um i don't know what he was earlier today but he's currently 320 right now and uh he hit a 338 and a 340 overnight so 320 for me on that card is a gg because again what i look for on these icons is i try to find what they sold for a couple like just earlier in the day right so like a 319 here for me if i see a 315 i'm definitely buying that because yeah i could buy them at 320 and i could see a 350 tomorrow but i'm gonna try you know there's a 323 right there as well I could try to see if this other guy that lists him up at 334 maybe undercuts that at 315 and I can make some profit on this Nedvet for tomorrow. I expect the icons to get pushed up. Uh, when it comes to out of pack stuff and some of the other cards we were looking at for Thursday flips, um, all you need to do for me is just go to the uh, PGP page. Right? So you go players and then pop, uh, PGP right here. And what you could do is you could find any version of cards. Right, So I go to freeze. And then I'm going to click on this twice. Or no, I'm going to click on it once. Right, so look at the two most used players, by the way. Torreira and Thorgan Hazard. Why did I buy Thorgan Hazard? Well, the reason why I bought him and I bought mine at 170 was because this guy all day, or usually hits about 180 peaks, right? So if I get him at 170 on the low of his fluctuation, all I need for him to make profit is to go to 185, and I'm making 6, 7K right there on this Thorgan Hazard. So... Find this closest to like 170 if you can. I'd say Terrar is like, you know, he's pretty expensive right now, but if you can find him at 60, I think it's still okay. These guys are like, you know, still kind of fluctuating. I would really try to get this guy like 58 to 60 if you could. Uh, it is up a decent amount. Uh, and then we go to other versions, right? We go to record breakers, okay? The most used record breaker in the game. Look at this, David Silva. Uh, Jaden Sancho, if you could find him at 270, that's pretty good. Donnarumma, right? This is again... Uh, I think the team of the week, we didn't get a keeper from Serie A. Some people were saying it could have been Handanovic. Uh, this guy, like, closest to 100 is a really good price. I could see going to, like, 115 tomorrow. Um, so trying to find these guys as close to 100 if you guys can. Um, and then you move to all the different versions, right? You go to Rule Breakers. Who's the most used Rule Breaker? Well, you got Andre and you've got Kamara. These guys always rise when there's new League on uh, just objectives or, or SBCs that come out. Uh, Jimenez as well, you have to obviously be careful because of the Linglet. Um, you know, if you got this Texera card, if you could find Texera around 120, not only his Rule Breaker, but his Hero card. If you can find his Hero at like 81, 82, he's up a lot. Some of the stuff is up right now, uh, which is kind of scaring me at the moment, but try to find these in like the low 80s if you could. Um, another thing, obviously, we can keep going through different versions. You can look at icons, you can look at all, right? And what you do is just see what the most used icons are. Uh, so on a lower budget scale, you got this Crespo here, right? You look at 230, and last week he went from 234 to 247. So he, again, he went up last week, right? He was 243 earlier today, uh, overnight, and uh, yesterday was 240s as well. All of a sudden, this guy's down, down at 230, right? I'm interested. I'm very interested in this Crespo card. Because if I could find a 225, all I need for that to do is go to like, 
you know, 245 um tomorrow to really make coins and try to get on bids if you guys can as well like 201 here on the bid it's a 230 as well just try to look for bids on on all these specials and these icons uh for me they'll probably do well tomorrow especially the lower tiers i think the upper tier market may go up a little bit but not in terms of like a return on investment uh if you guys get what i mean by that let me go back to that uh that net vid real quick because i want to see if the guy is going to read list uh, for a decent price, we've got 319 just got put up again. Um, that's kind of like anticlimactic. I wanted like 315. Um, but again, this guy literally went to 340s earlier today. So all I need for him to make profit is to go to like 350. And I'm making like, what is that? 31 key on the on the uh, tax or profit before tax. You're looking at like, eh, you're looking about like 12, 13 key on that card, I think. So yeah, you know what? I'll buy this Nedved. Uh, I'll buy it. That's That's totally fine by me. Um, I expect the icons to do well tomorrow, so we could buy that. Nedved's one of those more usable icons as well. Uh, another gold minute that could go up this week, I think, is Conte. If you can find if you can find Conte in the 230s, I'd like it. Um, like I said, Salah, I think, will do good. Um, look for the gold minutes that nobody else is buying. Like I feel like the reason why Salah goes up, Conte goes up, Mane goes up, is because less people are buying them, and you know more people are going into the guys like uh, if I back out right here. They're looking for the Suns, the Martials, the the Walkers, the Gomez, the Pogba's, right? The Mendy's. Maybe that is one of the bigger reasons why these cards don't really rise. I'd be very careful with this Marcus Rashford card uh, because for him, he went up a lot today. He went from like 95k to 120 and now it's coming back down. Be very, very careful on that. Um, like I said, I really do like the fact that this guy is literally extinct right now. The 84 Carrasco. Um, and it's crazy to me how the 86 Carrasco is this, like, is this expensive. Um, but again, that gives us an opportunity. If you guys get this guy at a low 30s range, I like this a lot. I think it, I think it'll really do good based on what we've seen on cards, like 33.7 right there. Again, finding 32, 33 flat. I think, you know, if you look at the first informed Carrasco and how much he's dropped so far, right? And Zaha did this as well, by the way. Uh, if you look at him, he was 38.5 overnight. He's now down at 33. That's down 5,000 coins uh, for a card that's like not his second inform is extinct. Uh, if you look at just any of these graphs on like first inform Zaha, again, this was a card that won up a lot. Um, if you look right here, he went from like 131 to like 146. You guys can buy this at like 130. I think it'll do well. Uh, but look at this rise right here. 130 goes all the way to 150. Right, same thing. Every single Thursday, this guy is going up, uh, 151 to 171. Again, I think he went to 180 that week as well. So just be looking out at a lot of the the informs and specials that have been rising recently. Um, every single Thursday. So Zaha for me is actually one of the cards that I would be looking at the first inform one. Um, the only like downside on this, the only downside would be that if people are selling off guys like Zaha right now. Because they think he's getting a headliner card this Friday. That would be the only thing that would like prevent people from actually buying guys like Zaha. Guys like Teo Hernandez, right? The really popular informs and specials because people are expecting them to get a headliner card. So that's the only little thing you guys have in mind. I think you'll be able to sell these cards at any time on Thursday. I don't think you have to like specifically sell before 6 p.m. or anything like that. We've got the loading screen. We know that headliners is coming. Also, I think a big thing is that because we didn't get a team leader loading screen today, it gives people a lot of confidence to buy players back. Uh, and that's, I think, what you're seeing on the market right now. A lot of these, you know, uh, middle to, you know, like lower tier cards are like really starting to rebound, which is good uh, from where they were earlier today. So hope you guys did enjoy this video today. Make sure you guys do drop a like, subscribe if you're new right here, and I'll talk to you guys in a video soon. Peace out.